Kicking off. Thomas Clucky out of Oregon, Ohio. Chip Tran oh. wants to bring it up, and he's hammered shy of the 20. And we'll be keeping an eye on a host of wide receivers that will be in the game during the course of the evening. Quick out to Ameka Atbuka. Oh, nothing doing for Henderson. Whipler is a very strong center, highly intelligent, and that's the embarrassment of riches. Smith and Jigba, Marvin Harrison Jr., who's really stepped up those so far this year, and uh, Abuka, along with uh, Kate Stover, playing some tight end alongside Mitch Rossi. We'll also see some of uh, G. Scott as the evening progresses. Third down and two. The strength is their tight, their, their corners, and obviously on the offensive side, it's their tackles, Tim. And a first down for Travion. And there's the secondary, very young. They lost a couple of players to the NFL draft a year ago. And that's Ameka Abuka again. Little bubble screen. And it's taken by Marvin Harrison. Cannot believe I've got another young man whose father I actually called games for. <laughs> and nice. there goes Henderson again. He'll cut it back. Remember a year ago, he set an all-time single-game rushing record. Let me tell you, once they yeah. get him going and those receivers, they're virtually indefensible. It, it, you know, you think about it, Spencer, they've got great running backs. You'll mm -hmm. see Mayan Williams a little later. These guys are only toting it about seven, eight, maybe ten times in the case of Travion Henderson. But you know what? When you've got that much talent and you want to share the ball in both the run and pass game, that's you're going to have to accept that. And uh, the Buckeye players do. Play fake. Nice. Looping it down the sideline to Stover. Cade Stover, first and goal. And Tim, that was the second play in a row where they went to number seven. A textbook drive so far to open the game for Ohio State. Henderson. Nice vision. Henderson. Wonderful. Henderson. Touchdown. The freshman out of Episcopal High School around the Houston area. Noah Ruggles with the extra point. Jaden Fielding will kick it away. He handles kickoff chores. And Jaquez Stewart will let that one go through the end zone for a touchback, and they'll bring it out to the 25-yard line. And he's got Micah Kelly as his setback on first down from the 25. Nice. Giving him an opportunity to throw a pass that's safe. We'll see if they go inside zone here. Yep. Nope, he's running it. He did. Look at that. Oh, yeah. In the open field, he's so dangerous. And you know, the way they play defense under Jim Knowles, that's a gain of 18. You know, you, if you make a mistake with your gap integrity, he'll make you pay. Here's the previous catch right here. Again, if he clings that in and just grabs it off his fingertips, turns his body, and they're going, Tim. Plenty of time, and he lets it fly incomplete. Intended for Jawan Newton. Nice. They're opening this up for him. Oh, big time. Wow. Looking long, and he's got his man. Wow. at Cyros. Thomas Cyros. And a touchdown Toledo. Lucky for the extra point. How about that answer? He came in, Tim, as a team's leading rusher at 138 yards. So Jim Knowles, the defensive coordinator for Iowa State, has got an answer. Got to have it himself. A touchback. But this isn't a good uh -oh. sign as Travion is making his way to the locker room, it appears. Mm. Mayan Williams is in at running back. He had a fantastic late drive to help put away Notre Dame in week one. And they go with the wide wow. receiver. Look at that pattern move. to Marvin Harrison. And Spencer, that was almost six. He shrugged him off without a problem. They go sweep to Williams. Mayan Williams past midfield and into Rockets territory at the 48. No need to go pace and tempo. Yeah. I think a lot of that has to do with your back, not knowing what his status is. Uh, Jet Swift was a pass, so it counts for Stroud. And he's six out of six. Williams one more time. Burrows ahead to the 46-yard line, a gain of two. Second down and eight. The throw game going to be featured. Deontay Johnson helped make that stop. He's an outstanding Defensive end. Yes, got him. There it is. Post pattern, and it is caught. 
Inside the 15 to the 10, Cade Stover. Well, you talk about accurate. You couldn't hand the ball any better to a receiver than that. Out of the gun, Williams. And this is where he did damage. Again, we talked a little bit about that last drive, a gain of four there. Slow down quite a bit. Use some clock and try to salt the game away. I, mean, I think the fans are still having to get used to some of that. Yep. A lot of these teams that are explosive now are, are playing complementary football a bit more in 2022. No question about it. CJ loads nice. up again, well, and it is in the corner. That's a touchdown. Touchdown to Marvin Harrison. Ruggles for the extra point. Seventy-five yards, just six plays. Kate Stover again with the the pass play to set up the touchdowns. Now can Jim Knowles and this Buckeyes defense handle number seven, DeQuan Finn? After a pretty outstanding start for him, the handoff is to Micah Kelly, and he stopped. This is going to change the pace and tempo. It's actually going to slow down even more. Trips formation inside. Let's see what this does. Nice job. No, nothing doing again for Kelly. And here's the thing that Knowles does, right? He gets you tackles for losses and behind the chains. How about this? A four-cross looker. He's playing safe. Third, he's still got rush. Yeah, third and 15. He just has to let it go. He was outside the tackle box. No flag. Excellent strategy by Jim Knowles. Jonathan Batsky will punt it away. And the left footer gets off a beautiful punt. Here's Abuka. As I said, he had one to the house last week that was called back because of a roughing the kicker. This time he stopped at the 41-yard line, and a late flag comes down. Unsportsmanlike conduct. 20 for Toledo, 4 for Ohio State. The penalty portion offsets the first down. This is a running look right here. They're going to get out of it, Tim, to try to see if they can take advantage. It's a single high safety look. So what does that mean? That means that C.J. Stroud is looking at where the numbers are. Where can I run this ball? For me, I'm looking at the top or the bottom down here low, inside, right there. Mayan Williams. There you go. I mean, they just make it look so easy. Their business approach to the game. That's a gain of 14. Another check at the line. Check with me. Vince Carr is the defensive coordinator for the Rockets. He's coming out in this two-shell look. And again, I told you last series that we're going to slow the game down so they can read and react. Plenty of time. CJ loads up again oh, into traffic. It's caught. It's Harrison. It's touchdown. Are they going to rule him out? They're going to say he stepped out at the three. And that's the difficult truth. I mean, take mm -hmm. nothing away. Yeah. Yeah, he, he jumped too early. Yeah, but, but you should have seen just prior to that, he comes to the point and he runs right past the ball. From the three, Williams met at the point of attack. Any one of these three receivers are home run hitters. Max and Hook saved the touchdown by getting enough of his body to get nice. him out of bounds. Wide open. Wide open oh, and missed him. Doctor. That is the first one that he's not thrown accurately just beyond the outstretched arms of a wide open Cade Stover. Sometimes you just kind of rein yourself in a little bit when you identify that the guy is uncovered. Just slow down. Make sure you square up your shoulders and deliver that ball. And it was taken off like a, a plane, and that nose was up a little bit. Just should have lofted it over the top. Third and goal from the three. Williams, the lone setback. Everyone in tight. They go two. That's a great and defensive Mecca, play. Buka, and a great defensive play. Agbuka is in, though. Wow. I thought they got him out. <laughs> now the Buckeyes have had it three times. They've scored touchdowns every time. In Tulsa, and it was 3-3 after the first one. Yes, quarter. it was. There's a level of confidence and swagger back in the Ohio State program. I think we can say that. Ohio State averaging 11.4 yards per play. Penny Boone has checked into the game in the backfield now. Former high school teammate yep. King in Detroit. Transferred over from Maryland. He's a big guy, man. A big load. Yeah. You know, Micah Kelly had carried it twice for minus five yards. Play fake to Boone. And the yep. option to run for this guy is always good. Yep. Always good. He gets right to the sticks and is out of bounds. I think they're going to mark him. 
about a yard shy. A little slight adjustments along the line of scrimmage. Boom. There you go. See that? 35. But nothing doing. Nothing doing. Eichenberg came right up and met him in the chest. Not allowing Finn to get outside surprised me a little bit on that third down and one call. Abuka awaits the punt. Set far behind his quarterback. A pistol look. And then nice. across the middle it is throw. caught at Smith and Jigba. <laughs> The 10 completions are averaging 19 and a half yards. So these are nice. that are wow. right down the seam and down the sideline. And here goes Williams. And he's ushering himself out. Ohio State's not afraid to run the ball in that formation. That tells you something about the character and physicalness of the receivers. Five carries for 39 now for Williams. Making six carries. Wow. For Ooh, about 49 doctor. now. He's hammered at the sideline by McDonald. Urban Meyer got up there to help out Brady Quinn. Yep, Brady came up showing the yeoman's work. The versatility in their talents. C.J. Stroud lets it fly again to the sideline, <laughs> and that's another tremendous catch by Stover. And Chris I mean, McDonald was again in coverage, Tim, and they're working on him. You know, when they find somebody that they can have success again, they keep coming back. Excellent job of Stroud extending this play out here and avoiding Deshaun Johnson, the defensive tackle, who was out in front of him, number one. That's just great athleticism, man. All day to throw, protection, Wilkberg, Matthew Jones, Juan Jones, Donovan Jackson, Paris, all of them doing excellent work to protect their quarterback. This is a good front seven for Toledo, mm -hmm. but they're not nearly as deep Here as comes Ohio a pressure State. Cat blitz, so you got to be front. careful. There oh. goes Williams against it, <laughs> and he's got it down to the five-yard line. Second and goal. Play fake to the oh. corner. It's incomplete. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. That's Smith and Jigma was the intended receiver on third and goal. He got him wide open. It's late. Stroud using his legs keeps the play alive, and it's going to be <laughs> incomplete. That ball was being. Are they saying touchdown? I thought the ball was moving there, but they're saying touchdown. Fleming's first catch. Yeah, it was a six point game with 1025 left. Mm -hmm. Well, Ohio State has 287 yards total in the first quarter. <laughs> a little bit, they go to the wide receiver screen, and Newton is ahead to the 26, maybe the 27 yard line, a gain of about two. What separates him, as far as I'm concerned, the accuracy. Penny Boone in the backfield. Here oh, comes the rush off yep. the edge, and the, it collapsed on him. Ohio State had him bracketed at that time. Nowhere for him to go. There's nowhere to run in that situation. That means you've got so many numbers on the back end, and this young quarterback, Finn, wasn't able to sort it out fast enough. Spencer, they have not rolled him out since the opening series. Well, it's tough because they're pinching on him from the rush. Yep. They're coming at him at a 45-degree angle, but he's Look elusive. At that. I mean, he's your offense. Those huge gaps, they're saying, look, we'll let you go in the middle. You're just not going to beat us on the outside. Oh, that's a beautiful pass. He slung it late, too, to uh, Devin Maddox, number eight. That's the junior out of Cleveland. Penny Boone remains in the backfield. This is a huge series yep. to open the second quarter. It comes a safety blitz. And they go a little bubble screen out to Maddox. Inviting him to run the ball here. Out pattern. And it's broken up. Zyros, who had the touchdown catch, the intended receiver, got to believe it's four down territory here. Third and five. It's tough to run against this. In trouble. Gets away from it. Ad libbing now as best he can, and he just dumps it. Gets out of there. Yeah, man. It was Hamilton early, and it was Eichenberg late, and it, it is four down territory. Fourth and five. Over the middle, and nice. it's caught. First down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Now yeah, they move him into guard. Rossi has moved over to tackle with Carter Fowdy out. Oh, and there's tackle. Penny Boone. Rare. Penny Boone. 
Gets it down to the 23-yard line. That's J.K. Johnson, number four, with a stop. Gain yeah. of four. Second and six. Micah Kelly checks back in. It's an interesting formation. Right, right up the gut. Nothing doing for Kelly. And the back has got to have instincts. Missed it on that play. First time we've seen trips to the right. You got to handle the pressure on the left side. The tackle's going to open up. He patted his rear end. That lets him know he's got protection. You got to move away from that. There you go. Good job. Finn. Look at him go. Daquan Finn nice. to the pylon. Touchdown. This guy is single-handedly keeping Toledo in it. Won a couple of state titles at mm. King High School in Detroit. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Came in with 138 yards rushing. He's the leading rusher on this team. And a fair catch is called. After an opening series, he's been in the locker room. We're working to find out uh, his status for the rest of the evening. That's Smith and Jigba. Williams remains the setback. Tight bunch yeah, formation. Yeah, and they've wow. got a convoy now in front of Emeka at Wuka. There he goes. That was just a perfectly planned wide receiver screen. After review, the ruling of a catch and out of bounds stands. First down. It's a tough formation, tight bunch. Williams. Negligible gain that time as Max and Hook came up from safety to pop him. Brian Hartline, the receivers coach, is uh, still at it. What a great player he was, and now a tremendous coach. Second so down and eight. And oh, here's release. Stroud with release. There you time. go. Release. He's going to go. <laughs> out of the shotgun. It's Williams. Great read. Big hole. And you're right. He made an outstanding read to cut it back, and he gets down to the there you go, coming back with it. Stroud's only missed twice tonight. Mayan Williams has been in the game ever since Henderson left. And again, we will do our best to find out what we can about his status for at least the remainder of tonight uh, by halftime, hopefully. Williams nice. cutting it back. Yards after contact, solid again. And Dallas Gant, the last to get to him. Nine yards and it's second and one. Well, the playbook is wide open it for really Stroud is. now, isn't it? And with this off corner, I wouldn't be sh shocked if they threw it wide. Yep, back right open. There it is. Back in the end zone. Harrison, touchdown. Cerebral Spencer. He is a route runner. He's a route runner very much like his father. Yep. And it just has a cerebral approach to the game. I just think it's a comfort level. I mean, yeah. it is a mine, but the design of the play helps him get open. Joey Galloway had multiple touchdown games in 93 and 94. That is a big time company to be in. You know, he said, look, you got to make sure that if you're going to get a great Defensive coach, you need to have that guy have autonomy to run that side of the football, and that's what he's doing. That's uh, Kel Barkley on the receiving end, number 14. With this guy right here, he's a blanket as far as defensive schemes yeah, exactly. are concerned. Stewart. Marquez Stewart stopped by Eichenberg again because the margin for mistakes are virtually nil because everybody has to fit and replace quickly and play with integrity. That's what you want to Got see home, more yeah. of. Still, he's in trouble. But look at that ad lib. Look at that ad lib. I mean, this young man. If but if you start Spencer by rolling him out, you give him more options. He's a special player. Third down and three. Finns carried it five times for 67 yards. Wouldn't be surprised if he called his own number here. Slant. Incomplete. Great Should have been defense. caught. 
Jerquan Newton was the intended receiver. Yeah, Denzel Burke was right there with that left hand, though, Tim. He was on him. Denzel out of uh, Scottsdale, Arizona in his sophomore season. Abuka is back deep awaiting the punt from Batsky. Fair catch at the 10. And Ohio State will set up shop just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line. Their third running back, Allen Hayden, is in the game, and he'll set sail for nine. All that coming up. Second and a yard to go. Hayden. Four carries for 19 yards and a touchdown for him. A little curl pattern. It's taken in by Julian Fleming. Already has a touchdown catch. Second down three. Four by one, Tim. Four birds. And Stroud, who normally does not use his legs, does here. And gets it to the 40-yard line. Stopped by Bauer. Gain of four, and they'll move the sticks. What they tried to do was clear it out. He saw that single safety thinking, maybe I can beat one. And that's his job. You know, a lot of times, like the old option game, does a wonderful job of making one guy commit, getting away from him, and just making a great decision. I think it was a wonderful call on his part. He's feeling it now, but yes, he did get the first down. Yeah, he made Jamal Hines miss, <laughs> and he tried to change directions on him and couldn't. Plenty of time in the pocket. That's been the issue all night, and there is Harrison again. Mm. Another first down for Marvin Jr. That Utah team played as well as they could have. Would have been the biggest win probably in school history, and that would even include the undefeated season that Urban had at Utah that that was going to be something else for them but Ohio State just denied them here goes Hayden again flying around a little bit Timmy inside the 30 down to the 28 on the stretch play time on the field can't get off the field on third down on first down here's Hayden again wow I mean it's um, Luke Weipler the, the center Tim number 53 does an excellent job of stretching this play out and releasing so as to not to draw the holding penalty. Really bright guy as centers often are. Well, it's the first time we've seen him flushed. Let's it go and on the comebacker, he gets it into the hands of Hayden and we got a marker down. Yeah, he released into the teeth of that front. Holding, defense number two, 10 yard penalty automatic, first down. Third time in the last five Old years. Block, miss. Yep. And there goes Hayden to the 11. Gant with the stop, a gain of two. Well, you see the clock, and they're letting it go. Plenty of time to work with here. Mm -hmm. Got him, one over. There's the there curl. Is. It's caught. <laughs> it's touchdown. It's Fleming. <laughs> Well, both Smith and Jigba and Fleming have been heard of. They came in here feeling a lot better about themselves than Tulsa did at this time a year ago. No question and Tulsa about it. was in the game. Micah Kelly is the, the setback. Toledo's got to move fast if they want to do anything. They might just say, hey, we're going to run it out and get to the break. Well, this is... Stroud's 15th career start. And this is the seventh time he's nice thrown at least. Recovery. Yeah. What an <laughs> impressive first half for him. As you see, Micah Kelly stopped in his tracks. Jack Sawyer was in that group, too. You see 33 got in the back end of that. And he, he was really turned up field with Sawyer. And he turned around the redshirt freshman. That's a heck of a heads up play for him, young man. We're going to entertain you as best we can with this uh, enormous amount of offensive talent that the Buckeyes bring to the fray. And Toledo, again, they've not played poorly. It's just not been a fair fight necessarily. Voiceover agents, by the way, you can tune in in Houston, Texas. <laughs> a man's doing all kinds of voiceover work from his Sugarland Studios. Penny Boone is in there, and look at him go on the opening play from scrimmage. That's their... Easily their best run from scrimmage by anyone other than Daquan Finn. Stopped by Lathan Ransom. They're going 12. pace and tempo here, but they're going to need more than just those inside runs, Tim. They're going to need a lot more. 
That's what they need. Pressure oh, off the doctor. edge, and there's the pick. That's the one thing they were looking for. An interception, and it's taken away by Ronnie, Ronnie Hickman. Hickman. Yep. Reminds me of Her Eric Reed, his body, the way he's put together, man. An excellent range to close. Well, we touched on it during halftime. We oh, were prophetic great there. Play, but a miss. And here's Hayden. Hayden. The distance? Maybe not. I think he was pushed out at the three by Chris McDonald. Deshaun Johnson just misses him, number one. He gets ripped through there. Yep. Does a wonderful job of getting through the center there, Luke Wepler, but he can't finish him. And because of that, I'm going to tell you, man, it's a game of inches. From the three, first and goal. Didn't take long, did it? Another missed tackle. Not there for Hayden. Salvaging eight and nine yard gains by making tackles. Second and goal. It's Hayden. Mm. Push nice back stop. at the one. This is it says something about Toledo, doesn't it? They're yeah, not, it really does. They're playing Andre hard. Fuller. Third down and goal. They go I formation. Hayden dotting the R. Full they back go action. full back. The H back. <laughs> and that's Rossi. And it's touchdown. Yeah, by the way, uh, Hester now does radio with uh, Bobby Carpenter. Does it really? Yeah, they call themselves oh, the, the old uh, giant. They do Bobby Carpenter? Yeah, they do meathead football. No, that's the, it's a different, this is the linebacker. Oh, okay. Bobby Carpenter. Sang a few songs, Me and My Shadow, a little too old to cut the mustard anymore. <laughs> that one goes through the end zone for a touchback. My friend, the old erstwhile Bino Cook, said he wanted to be buried with a Michigan helmet and dot the eye before he died. Those were his two things that he wanted most. <laughs> Here's Finn rolling to the right on a nice. crossing pattern. He finds his man. That's Blankensee, his favorite target of his receiver. From the 41, first down. Inside zone, nice, nice job. Reading. Penny Boone. Yeah. You know, he's really run well. He's been the most effective of the running backs tonight. Now, familiarity has got to help them. You no would question. think in the MAC, they were preseason number two in the MAC West. It's going to help them nice. as time goes on because this kind of back in that kind of league in the Mid America Conference, mm -hmm. he's going to be really hard to stop in the Mid-America Conference this year. They got something working with their if game. And, I, and when I talk about if games, we're talking about the guard play. Jim knows defense. If you leave a space that's not to be vacated, you're going to pay for it. But that's a great job of the inside guards doing a wonderful job of escorting their running back. Boone remains the setback out of the shotgun, gets the delay, and just back to the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Stewart is the setback now. And it's a quarterback draw. Well, no, he's got it's an RPO. And he goes back shoulder. And it's incomplete for Jamal Turner, the tight end out of Montgomery, Alabama, senior, as they look to bottle up Daquan Finn on an obvious passing down. Oh, he got the wheel route. Yeah, oh, my look God, out. he missed it. He is so fast. Now he looks for some help he deep. Got, wow. And it is caught. Wow. And it is touchdown, oh, oh Jawan Newton. That is right Ooh. out of Johnny football. That is Johnny Manziel 2.0. Wow. Lucky for the extra point. Newton, the sophomore from St. Pete. He averages 20 yards per catch. We shouldn't be surprised, though, Tim. No, not, a, not at all. Abuka takes the fair catch. This team, too, with regard to how many options you've got offensively and he he, he mentioned right away the 08, 08 Oklahoma yep. team mm -hmm. little curl pattern that's caught by Abuka he's been among the best of them and, and it's a little bubble screen thrown out to Abuka that's incomplete third down and three for the Buckeyes well what five wide Tim they're going to go vertical on this let's see what happens can the Rockets respond Oh, see, this is this is a, this is the mind game right here. Ohio State needs to buckle down and execute their offense. It's not going to be a game of two halves here. That's where that frustration from day is I'll coming start. from. Offense number 53, five-yard penalty, third down. Now they got the center Whipler. And if you look at Ibuka, up number two up top, he goes off of the, the movement as well. He's the one that actually moved. The center was just turning around. Mm -hmm. I think they got that wrong. Irrespective of it, 
it's another penalty. That's a mind issue there. That's a that's a focus or lack thereof. Third down and eight. Nice. This one is caught. Coming back, Abuka. <laughs> and another first down. And that late release by his back, but that ball is a dart. Delivered in zone. Late, Off to the races again. Late substitution, but Toledo made it. Hayden is stopped by Deswan Johnson. Gain of four, second down and six yards to go. They love uh, soft coverage, the out route, the opposite side of the field. Absolutely love it out of this formation. Well, see. Over the middle, oh, that ball play. is tipped away. Could have been picked. Mm. Buckeyes have had a lot of third and shorts. They haven't had too many third and six or longer tonight. It's Hayden, and they stop him. So you got to figure they're going for it on fourth down with a call like that, right? They get it up to the 40-yard line of Toledo. Into the coffin corner. And those little wedge shots on the end over punt. Let's see what happens here. That's beautiful. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh, man. He was right on cue, right? He knew what we were talking about. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Kent State group worked with Don James as well as oh, yeah. uh, Nick well, Saban Washington, before going over coach. to Toledo. Mm -hmm. A lot of history at a lot of Mac schools in college football. And we've got a marker down. I, I think we've got procedure. Yeah. False start. Oh, Offense number one. Half the distance to go. First down. Took over after Matt Campbell left for Iowa State. This is Penny Boone territory, right? You get yep. it to him as often as you possibly can and hope for the best. Stopped by Jack Sawyer. Well, Boone's the best equipped to give you some breathing room down here. And although when you've got an elusive quarterback like Flynn, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't be afraid to call his number down here. I'll give you another one, Spencer. He reminds me of a little bit. Uh, Otis Armstrong. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Size. Mm -hmm. High stepping sometimes. Number 33. The pressure. In trouble. <laughs> Let's it fly. It is caught. Amazing. And that will be just shy of the necessary yardage to Devin Maddox. And again, give a lot of credit. Uh, Jawan Newton. They got to do something about the numbers here. They're outnumbered top. From the one, pressure off the edge. Pass is incomplete. All oh, those bullish Buckeye fans in the end zone are, they're letting Finn know about it. They want a safety. And now, the four man rush, they got the numbers. Throw it on a screen, look to Boone. <laughs> and it is diagnosed beautifully. Only a gain of two on the play. How quick are those linebackers? Booted away by Batsky, and another marker down with Abuka waiting. And he'll let it bound inside the midfield stripe and down at the 46, where Ohio State will take over. But we'll check the flag. Sideline interference warning. Ohio State bench. There's no yardage associated. Ooh. First down, Toledo. Because it hit a Toledo player. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't tell us that. But that is what happened. So that boot that we thought measured 51 did not. Oh, the deep over. Right nice. there. <laughs> and Abuka has it again. Wow. First and goal after the 29-yard gain. Here comes Blitz. Hayden will take it. And he's corralled at the seven. That's uh, Kavon Butler, number 52, leading the way. Kentucky transfer. <laughs> he stood his ground, didn't he? Yes, he did. Hayden remains the lone setback on second and goal. Play fake. Let's see, which great receiver do I want to throw it to? Yep. Stroud with all kinds of time. And now throws it away. Good defensive coverage that time by the back end of the Rockets defense. They're going to need some help blocking on this right side of their team. Yeah, they, they, particularly against this reduction. Stroud over the middle of Buka. Touchdown. Mm. 
<laughs> Delivers it. Protection, awesome. I was playing those you four tracks. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, that's right. You, the <laughs> cart machines. <laughs> oh, man. Through the end zone, touchback. Micah Kelly is in the backfield. And he gets it beyond the 30. It's a scrum. He gets it up to the 34-yard line, a gain of nine. Third best team yep. in the SEC, if not if not Kentucky, maybe Arkansas. I really love Arkansas's running backs, but they've got good oh, skill yeah. players. And uh, K.J. Jefferson's a heck of a quarterback, too. This really outstanding quarterback. Yep, they're close to the line of scrimmage. They're coming. Yeah. Begging yeah. him to throw. <laughs> Begging him to throw, and he does. And he beats coverage. Deep, and it is wow. just beyond the outstretched arms of Mikhail Barkley on the ball. Here comes the punt from Batsky. And back deep. Nice. Jaden Ballard takes it in at his 16-yard line. Ballard cuts it back up and gets out to the 33. A healthy return. Richard Lewis. Allen Hayden takes the handoff. And Kavon Butler will make the stop. As you see, Kyle McCord, the backup quarterback, Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Against Arkansas State, he threw it four times for 19 yards, no touchdowns. Played in five games last year and started uh, against Akron, completing 13 out of 18 for 319. Number three quarterback in the nation in the class of 21 as a five star. So yet another great one waiting in the wings here at Ohio State. Hayden up to the 39. Jim Knowles hiring to yeah. me yeah. was a catalytic move for this institution and the most significant hire in college football last year. Nice out pattern that is complete. That's Ballard. Third down conversions tonight have been just through the roof and a great area of improvement as Hayden carries down to the 36. Again, quick out to Ballard. Good communication going on between the center and, and the quarterback and the tackle now. Jacob James is now operating at center. And here's McCord's pass underneath. Got some pressure yep. off the edge that time that affected his throw, and it falls incomplete. And his finger on the pulse of how to deal with the modern athlete. Ooh, oh, that's man, a close that lining wicked, at the line of scrimmage. A loss of two as Darius Alexander makes the stop. Home to the Buckeyes as we begin the fourth quarter. Third down and 12 coming up for Kyle McCord. Dal Dallin Hayden is in the backfield. And McCord will let it fly. And there it is. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 85. Half this goal, automatic. First down. Hayden's having some night, isn't he? Look at that. Down to the two. Is another flag down? I believe there is. Yep. Illegal substitution. Defense 12 players in the field. Half the distance to the goal. First down. He's the first Buckeye to get over 100 yards this season. Well, that, that's part of it. Again, not to take anything away from Trayvon, but they need to play a, a complete game yeah. to stay healthy. Yep. Hayden Burrows to about the one. Oh. There it is. Touchdown, Hayden. Dallin Hayden is a star tonight in the Mid-South and the Midwest. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to carry these things over from year to year, but it's hard for me to ignore mm -hmm. what he carried over from last year. The numbers were off the charts. Ooh, doctor. Ma Micah Kelly oh, man. got hammered right there. Ransom had a good day against Notre Dame last week. Kelly. New quarterback in the game now for Toledo. And lets it fly. It's incomplete. He just hadn't had the compliment at the wideout position in particular. And Saving Penny, his roommate, 
not much from the running backs. Well, well. From, from Jason Candle's point of view and Vince Karras as well, the main thing tonight is to get out of here healthy. Uh, pretty good. Pretty cool. T.C. Caffey is in the game. And there's a little out pattern thrown. And that's uh, Graves, the wide receiver, number 17, Keon Graves. And of Chandler, Arizona, that, that, that's a school and a city that's produced so much talent at wide receiver as well as a quarterback. Little naked bootleg wide action, right and it is wide open to Ballard. Jaden Ballard down the sideline. Oh, nice it is touchdown, 72 yards. That's exactly on, what I was thinking. Was what you and thinking? I'm sure Barry Switzer was thinking the same thing. That's right, Spencer. Great way to put the ball. He's right probably now. right now he'd be saying to you, Spencer, we just hung 70 on him. November 9th, 2019. Helped to uh, bring them out of the gloom and doom. Jock has Stewart. Jaden McKenzie just showed you exactly how to do that, number 90. Gleason rolling mm. and on the curl he finds an open receiver out to near midfield 24 yards that's the third longest play of the night for Toledo the other two for touchdowns 40 and 50 yards Stewart picks up a yard second down and nine coming up second down and nine again second and long which is exactly what Jim Knowles wants Stewart. And look at that conversion, the linebacking core safeties. So many of them converted safeties into linebacker. Was trying to characterize and use some descriptors to define who he's like and what his personality is. He said, well, he'll get in your hip pocket a little bit if you get out of line. Third down oh, and eight. Oh, speaking of getting Beal, in your hip pocket. He got hammered. That's oh, Adam man. Beal, and he was popped by Styles. But, man, he's got to be careful about that. Saw some old film of Jack Tatum there. Mm -hmm. And there's the ball's out. Yeah, it's out, and it's recovered by the Buckeyes. The backside pressure led to the turnover. And a new quarterback from Draper, Utah, Devin Brown, coming into the game. 6'3", 210. Nation's overall 43rd top prospect. Sixth quarterback prospect last year, and that's uh, Caffey, the running back, number 28, young man out of Hubbard, Ohio. Let's see what Brown can do for you. <laughs> Look at that 11 drives, yep. 10 touchdowns, 700 yards of total offense after that yard picked up. He threw for this kid, threw for 8,000 yards, 85 touchdowns in 31 high school games in Utah. I'm thinking maybe that Rose Bowl game got his attention uh -huh. during his recruitment. What do you think? Caffey, a little stretch play that Toledo read beautifully. And the stop was made by Rourke Freeberg, the Arizona transfer out of Scottsdale. Yeah. Redshirt player, man, the senior transfer, as you pointed out, Tim, he's just still playing the game and with great leverage and making sure he's not outflanked and that will show up in game time when you start looking at the game in, in film sessions and yeah. trying to figure out how to get better. Loss of five. By the way, we were talking about the professorial look of the defensive coordinator, Jim Knowles. Yes. Do you know that um, he sort of made the sports information director, Jerry Emig, <laughs> he's made him a bit of a rock star, not just on campus, but with Ohio State players. Did you notice the similarity? Yeah. Look at this pop out. There goes T.C. Caffey. Wow! It's a touchdown! 51 yards! So much for my emptying the bucket. His first career touchdown. All those big hogs up front doing an excellent job of blocking for him. Jacob James in there move? as well. Jacob did a wonderful job, the redshirt sophomore, of clearing the path for him. He shouldn't have gotten two yards out of that when yeah. he bounced it. Four score. Couple of, arm, couple of arm tackles. And it, the Rockets, I think, have gotten a little tired, even their backups. But boy, oh boy, this is now Ohio State's second most total yards in history. Lovely school, Catholic school in Memphis. And he's uh, promoting his, uh, his home by praising Hayden on Twitter.
And that'll be a touchback. I and, think they've got a shot at it all. And let me remind all of our viewers that are still with us as uh, Willie Shaw has now checked in at running back number 32. He'll tote it. Again, nothing doing. Maybe a yard with that second effort. But uh, Urban Meyer's national championship came from the four hole. That was the year, of course, with the Big 12. Was that the leapfrog year? That leapfrog year and the leap bear year. Uh -huh. Baylor and uh, Baylor. TCU were yep. tied. Wow. Gary, Gary Patterson one. will never forget that. Mm. He hung about 52 on Iowa State that same day, but it didn't matter. And the thing is, he knew he had to do it just yep. to even have a chance. That's right. They had no Big 12 title game. They yep. changed that yep. in the aftermath of that. Willie Shaw has stopped. That's we were, right. We it were, became uh, a form of double jeopardy, you yeah. know, not to have it. That's right. Well, we were talking about Jerry Eming and how mm -hmm. he looked a little bit like his new defensive coordinator. <laughs> Spencer, yeah. we have a separated at birth. <laughs> Players for the Buckeyes are coming up to the sports information director here. He knows that Knowles was a player. <laughs> so he feels like, hey, I'm in pretty good shape, too, right? Well, Knowles is known for having a pretty strong handshake. Yeah, and, uh... That's right. Tucker Gleason gets out ahead for a sizable gain and a first down. Jerry looks like he's worked out, too. Now. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. yeah. He's got some shoulders. He's on got him. some guns. He does. There's Jerry. He was so kind to us yesterday and uh, helped set us up for dinner at Hyde Park, Prime Steakhouse. What'd you have? I think I had the Herb Street Did steak. You? Yeah, I had Kirk's bone-in ribeye. So much for your commitment to the network. <laughs> <laughs> we thank Paul, Sidney, and Thomas there at, at Hyde Park for taking care of us on short notice. On first down, it's Shaw again. I'm thinking maybe Urban's mad that we didn't order his steak. You know, maybe I hope we didn't offend yeah. him. They look like they jetted up. I, just, I yeah. saw a couple of tweets up there. Yep. Wallace had the, the jet working, man. No doubt about it. Stretch play for Willie Shaw, and he's met. But you know what? This kid's playing hard. Yeah. I am impressed by Sonny Styles. And it, it takes a special player to play this type of defense, and it all begins with what's between the years. That's Barkley on what was a fourth down play. 2016, as we mentioned, Bowling Green, 77 to 10, where Urban, by the way, launched his career mm -hmm. before going one? to Utah. Who's he was at Bowling one? Green. Oregon State. Oh. And then uh, 2018 Oregon State, 77-31. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. I remember that. It's very rare you, you would say you're not seeing maybe the best athlete on the field, <laughs> and it's Ohio State we're talking mm -hmm. about. That's Caden Saunders out of Northville, Michigan. 5'9", 190-pound sophomore with a carry. Nice of Barra's on the stop coming in there. Submarine in them, still playing for the Rockets. And the film is going to tell you who's, who plays in these situations, Tim. I have always felt like the guys, you'll find the gyms in these late situations like this. The guys still playing with a high motor. Nice. Once again, Saunders carries to the 40. Oh, excuse me. No, did I say Ian? I'm, I'm sorry. He sounds just like his dad. <laughs> Noah Eagle will have the, uh, the call for us. TC Caffey carries it again. These fans that are still here want more. They're getting really greedy. And I think he made the first down. Yep. I think that Devin yeah. Brown called his own number and moved the chains. Caffey gets ahead for about another four yards. Well, Spencer, I was impressed. I know for Coach Candle, he's just happy to have an opportunity to get back into Mac play, collect a check, just as Arkansas State did last week. But Ohio State has served notice that you're going to have to play exemplary football if you're going to be able to deal with him in the Big Ten and beyond. And I think we set the table early. You know, if they give up five, four, five explosives, you know, as long as it's not more than that, yeah. that's just the inherent nature of what they're doing defensively. You're just getting a 70 spot. I'll give up three or four explosive <laughs> plays, man, yeah. if you can match that. 